Hi, this is Chris from Learn Now BC, and I'm going to take a couple of minutes to walk through the steps to log one activity over multiple days, also known as logging repeating activities. Now, this is a great way to save time when logging regularly scheduled activities, such as soccer practice, your PE class, walking to and from school, or pretty much anything that has a set schedule and duration. So, first of all, make sure you're logged in with your Learn Now BC student account, and when you log in, you're automatically taken to the student services page shown here. Click on the DPA tracker button to get started. Now, this is your personal DPA homepage that shows your current and previous DPA logs. You notice we've already set up our DPA log for this year, and there's a handy Add Activities button. So click it, and you'll be taken to the Add Activities page. Okay, so I have hockey practice on Tuesdays and Thursdays after school for about 50 minutes each. Practices are from September to March, with days off over the holidays. So click the One Activity on Multiple Days radio button. Okay, next I'm going to select Tuesday and Thursday checkboxes. And I'm going to set my start date to September 15th, 2012, and my end date to March 31st, 2013. All right, next I'll type in 50 minutes, and I'm going to select Ice Hockey. Notice that my frequently logged activities appear at the top. Uh, we work pretty hard during practice, so I'm going to choose Vigorous. And we do Endurance, Strength, and Flexibility types, so I'm going to select all three. Now, before I click Save, I'm going to double check my information. I don't want to have to go back and delete all these entries one at a time and start over again. Okay, that looks good, so here we go. All right, and that's it. There's all my hockey practices logged all at once. Now, I know that I'm not going to be going to practice on New Year's or on Christmas, so I'm going to go in and select these entries and click the Delete Activities button. All right, and they're gone. So that's it. That's how to log a single activity on multiple days. In other videos, I'm going to go over how to add and delete activities, and uh, so be sure to check those out too. On behalf of LearnNowBC, thanks for watching, and have fun being active.